guys, Z Master Epic here from Epic Group Films and today I'm kicking off the Harry Potter VFX tutorials that we will be doing all October long. So the effect from Harry Potter we will be creating today in Adobe After Effects and in HitFilm 4 Express will be the Death Eater Apparition effect and it will look like this. So first off, I'm going to start by teaching you guys who have Adobe After Effects. So what you need to do is import all your footage. You need a video of just a plain background and then a video of you acting out appearing. So then what you need to do is drag those two clips into the comp and size up the comp to fit the two videos. So then after you've done that, you want to make sure the video with you appearing is above the plain background layer. And then you want to make sure it is a couple frames back so we just have a couple frames of plain background before you appear. Then what you need to do is head over to productioncrate.com and download the wizard landing or wizard takeoff effect depending on what you are trying to do and then import those into your footage. I'll have a link to their website in the description so you can download those. And then after you've imported the wizard landing or takeoff, you need to drag that in. And as you can see, it has this basic thing where it shoots down or it shoots up. And so I have the wizard landing, so I am going to position this so then it covers me and my shadow. So I'm going to scale it up and scale it more because it's still not big enough and now it's positioned and so now it looks like I'm appearing but as you can see there are some problems when I go it looks like the screen tilts and then also some rocks move so to fix that which is just a shift in the tripod and me accidentally kicking some rocks before I record the plain background what we are going to do is click on this layer, disable this visibility, and we are going to mask out myself. So come up here and click on the pen tool and then scrub to the end of the video so then we can get every little detail of what it's supposed to look like. So let's go right here and we are going to mask myself out. So let's just grab basic garbage mat there we go and then what we do is we click on this click on mask click on mask one and then feather it out about 40 pixels and hit enter and now as you can see the transition is a lot smoother and you can't even tell there's a shift or anything. So yeah, now our effect is complete. If you wanna add some color grading or something, go ahead and do that right now. And then after you do that, to export it, go up to File, Export, Add to Render Queue, and then it'll come over here. If you click on this, you can change the title. I'm going to change it to Tutorial Blast, and save it to Desktop, click Save. And then I'm going to click render and it'll start rendering it out. Once it is done, you will hear a Dean sound Then you know the render is complete. So now for you people who have hit film for express. So first what you need to do is go over and hit new and then click start compositing. And then what you need to do is drag all your footage in, which I'm going to do that real quick. And then also what you need to do is head over to productioncrate.com and get either the wizard landing or wizard takeoff so then you can follow along with the Death Eater apparition effect. I will have a link in the description to productioncrate.com so then you don't have to search it. So what you want to do now is drag in your footage. So what you want to do is find the part where you come in so then you can set that as the part where you appear. Then you go to the part where you want it to end and then you right click on it and click slice selected layers and then we want to get the plain background. So I'm going to keep dragging this over until I get my plain background shot which is right here. So I'm going to right click and click slice selected layers, delete this and then drag this over and then what we can do is drag this over. Drag 
this over too. And now we just have a video of that. And as you can see, there's a slight rift in how it moved. So to fix that, we're going to open this, go to transform. We're going to change the opacity to 50%. And then we can move this around until it's lined up better. So right about there, it's lined up a lot better. You can mess with this for a little while to make sure you get it perfect, but that's good enough for me. So I'm gonna close this. And now, as you can see, we have this, and then I suddenly appear, except it's still 50% opacity. So let's change that back to 100. And now we just have it's plain, and then I suddenly appear. And so now what we need to do is mask out me. So we're going to go to the end so we can get all the details. And then we're going to grab this freehand mask right here and we're going to draw a rough mask around where I go. And then what you want to do is click on this, click on shape, and then feather it out to about 40%. And now it looks like it's blended in with the scene. And if you look, the transition isn't as rough. It looks more just like I'm appearing. And so now what we are going to do is add the wizard landing effect. So we're going to drag this in. I think we need to scale it up. So basically you just want to position it and scale it how you like. So I'm going to scale it up to about 210%. And then let's scrub forward. And move it. So then it covers me and my shadow. So after you've done that, it looks like you're appearing just like a Death Eater does. So now to export what you have just created, click on this, click go to export, and then right here, this should pop up. So I'm going to change this to this, and I'm going to change the name to Tutorial Hit Film Blast. And then save it to desktop, click save, and then click start exporting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you look forward to the more Harry Potter VFX that I will be showing you guys how to create. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome tutorials and other VFX stuff. See y'all next time, goodbye.